Now, just in closing, uh, I think it's always risky to make crude comparisons between mainland China and Taiwan, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, the, the conditions under which production is moving forward in China are different from the conditions of production when Taiwan underwent its phase of democratization, a phenomenal process in Taiwan's case. But I think the general pattern that we see in China of a deeply authoritarian system, a former command economy, embracing global production, maybe in order to survive, at least in order to deliver growth, and in turn, having to pull into the establishment people who know how to manage this kind of production and deliver the regulatory necessities of this kind of production, and then in turn, having to come up with a new social contract with a citizenry that basically involves holding out as a model the advanced industrial economies, a model for China's future, we've seen that pattern before. We saw it in Taiwan and it ended up with a democracy, a vibrant democracy. I don't know what China will look like in 10 years or 20 years. I have enough trouble predicting the past, let alone the future, or at least explaining the past. But I do feel that China today is in a proto-democratization process, in large part aided and abetted by its integration with a new form of globalized production. Just in closing, let me say that I think it is good for all of us to embrace these kinds of changes. They're changes we could have only dreamt of 20 or 30 years ago or even 10 years ago. It's good for us generally, economically. It's good for the innovative capacity of our respective countries. But I think ultimately, as some of the other speakers have suggested, this kind of highly specialized, highly modular form of global production in which there's a new division of labor globally and in which China as a geography is playing a very major role, I think this kind of modular model will be the answer or will certainly be one of the answers for, involving, for resolving some of the pressing issues of our time, including things like climate change. This will be the vehicle through which we'll see innovation and new products products again, which maybe we would have only been able to dream about five years ago or ten years ago. Thank you. <laughs>